tell my little time to tell us how they'll do it today. Well, baby, if you are Tom Sandoval, you have lost your MF in mind. Y'all, what am I talking about? New information is coming out every day about the Saphir. Do you know that there is a report that just broke that Tom took Raquel to town Hussey, the, <laughs> the Vanderpump bicycle, took Raquel home to meet his family. Then his family was like, get away with me, get away from me, I, I'm not getting involved. And they rejected a meeting. Everybody knew that Tom was fragrantly cheating on Ariana, except Ariana. Let me just say a couple of things. One, I know Andy Cohen and the Bravo people are on their knees thanking the Lord that they have this. This is the only thing right now keeping the lights on at Bravo, okay? Second of all, Raquel is a little sociopath. She does not care. If you want my opinion, and this is a messy opinion, but do you guys remember, if you guys are old school Vanderpump Rules heads, you remember the first season, well, not the first season, but the season that Katie, Bubba, and Tom Schwartz got married, right? Remember when Bubba and Schwartz got married? and Sandoval was literally crying like he was a jilted lover, crying tears of pain. Do y'all remember that? Yeah, I do. Do you guys also remember that, what was it, last season? Where Raquel was making out with shorts, Swartz, even though she was at, was Sandoval at that time? Listen, Raquel seems to be a psychopath and I wouldn't be surprised if she was happy being a sandwich that's all I'm saying because Tom and Schwartz and Sandoval have always been super close. And now that, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, let's talk about some other stuff's going on. The only good thing to come out of this is Ariana will appear on Dancing with the Stars and I'm gonna vote for her. I don't even watch that show, but I will at least text and phone in so she can vote. Ariana was a cutie. You know she wasn't gonna stay down for long and honestly, her and Sandoval have had long-standing issues. Do we not remember when Sandoval kind of outed um, Ariana for being with another girl and all this stuff? When I was like, well, why don't you tell, you know what? Let's keep moving, okay? Tom has always been a jerk to Ariana. It's just getting worse and worse and worse. Okay, so let's get into this. First of all, Tom looks like a mid-life crisis here he is literally having a ball with this walking around his little porn hub stash his bell-bottom pants screaming you're not even midlife yet tom and you are acting like you are having a midlife crisis y'all tmz even has him look at this mess hold on tmz even has him playing the trumpet he is enjoying this way too much. Look at this fool. Look at him. Look at this fool. It's even legal. I don't know. If I if I was if this is a scream midlife crisis, I don't know what does. If I was Ariana, I know she's incredibly hurt and betrayed. Raquel, there is something missing with, uh, in her mind. But I remember the way she acted when she was with James. Yeah, there's something wrong with that girl. Anyway, let's get into this report, okay? Raquel Levis and Tom Sandoval were together in his hometown and the family rejected a December, December meetup. You know, the family's saying, oh my God, uh, Schwartz is saying they're saying, oh my God, I didn't say anything because he was supposed to be breaking up with Ariana. Why didn't one person, because that to me with Ariana, that's what would hurt the most. Why didn't one person give Ariana a clue? And on top of this, what did Tom say to him? Maybe they're both little narcissists. What did Tom say to them to make them believe that he was trying his best to break up with Ariana? What was she doing? Holding you hostage? What do you mean you're trying to break up with her? We see you don't give a D about her feelings. You proved that as you are only out for self. What was Ariana doing that everybody believed that Tom just couldn't leave her? He even went, to, anyway, let's get into this. They said before the world even knew, uh, knew Raquel and Tom were a thing, he was comfortable enough to bring her home, making the bold decision to bring her around his friends and family <laughs> and offer his loved ones shut down. Check out the photo obtained by TMZ. This is these two people. Oh my God. This is right before New Year's. 
Look at them. This is Raquel and Tom in his St. Louis area. Um, check. Okay. Showing Tom and Raquel posing in front of the uh, Apotheos. Ap- Apotheos? Ap- okay, I'm saying that wrong. Of St. Louis in his hometown on December 28th. We're told the two spent time together. Tom even bought her to hang out with some of his closest friends. TMZ sources say Tom's family knew Raquel was with him in town, but had no interest in meeting her. We're told they thought it was inappropriate for him to bring another girl home while he was still with Ariana, and they didn't support his seemingly new secret relationship with Raquel. Now, I do need to say this. There's been this fan theory that they're all in on it, and even Ariana knew what was going on, but she was fine because she didn't want to be with Tom. I don't believe that. Sorry, I'm just looking at these pictures. I don't believe this for one second. Because if they did, Ariana wouldn't got in such a bad storyline if they created this. They said, as for his friends, our sources say Tom told them he was trying to break things off with Ariana right before the trip. And they were going to therapy together. Look at this picture in November. All three of them together. Raquel is a sociopath. Tom, look at this. Raquel is the sociopath. Tom is even worse. After the hometown visit, they drove to Chicago for one of Tom's shows, but Raquel didn't attend. Out of fear, she'd be recognized. Tom, TMZ broke the story that Tom and Raquel have continued to be an item even after the two were both roasted on the Vanderpump Rules reunion show. In fact, they grabbed dinner together at Musso and Frank's Grill just hours after taping rap. The funny thing is, Raquel's with Tom. Well, they're not going to fire them because this is, I'm even going to review Vanderpump Rules next season. This is the juiciest thing I have ever seen. I will actually even want to review, um, I want to review that maybe we'll even review the reunion. This is deep. Turns out. Tom and Ariana were a serious thing way earlier than anyone could have thought. And the timeline just continues to get a whole lot messier. Listen, I think, let me just say my opinion on this because it needs to be said. I think that Schwartz is lying. I think that him and Ariana have been messing around longer than anybody knows. I think they've been messing around for even more than a year. I think, uh, again, I think Schwartz is lying. I think he's still covering up for Sandoval. That's still his best friend (laughs) and would be lover. I'm just saying, I'm just saying the chemistry is there. The closeness is there. The erotic play is there. I'm just saying, and Raquel seems like she's happy to be in a sandwich. As long as she can get that TV light on her, she can get that, um, that TV camera following her around. I think Raquel would do whatever she needs to do. Schwartz is lying. They've been messing around for a while. Even Schwartz actually saying, oh my God, everybody needs to give Sandoval a hug. You are still covering up for him, okay? I think Schwartz is lying. I think that date he gave about it was in the fall or whenever, I think that's because um, Ariana probably scrolled back in text messages. I think he's known for a while. I think he's been covering up. I do not think Katie knows. You know Bubba was not going on for this. And I think Tom Sandoval is just a, a selfish jerk. And maybe Raquel is manipulative, but nobody can make you that manipulative. Anyway, that manipulated. Um, Swartz says that Tom admitted he's in love with Raquel, something Swartz was most shocked by, but not completely. Adding their emotional fear was sort of an open secret. How is it an open secret if everybody but his wife and Katie knew about it? And actually all the women of Vanderpump Rules. Fans have been wondering why Schwartz didn't fill in it for his friend, Ariana Maddox, about the sneaking around, and he answers that question too. I'll answer it, because he's not Ariana's friend. He's Sandoval's friend. He's Sandoval's crush. He's Sandoval's ma- um, man crush Monday. That's why he didn't answer. Nothing was coming in between him and his boo. I don't care what anybody says. They have chemistry. They need to start dating already. I mean, listen, maybe it's fan fiction. I don't know. Anyway, they're saying Tom and Ariana split last month after she found explicit messages on his phone and it's been world with drama ever since. This man had her in counseling. 
why he was taking his secret girlfriend, who's also one of her good friends, to meet his family. What does it say about Tom that you had to date someone that knew your girl? I'm just saying. Um, listen, they're saying that Schwartz was pretty quiet for a while, but spoke out for the first time last month, firmly remaining firmly on the fence in the fallout with his friends. Um, listen, I saw that Watch What Happens Live uh, with Swartz. I will say that Swartz was lying. He did not come across as credible. The fact that Tom took this woman home to meet his family, y'all. I can't, I can't, I can't, but I will. You guys, we are reviewing the Vanderpump Rules um, uh, a reunion. If you've ever watched the show, and I know all of you guys have, and if you haven't, go catch up. If you haven't been following the drama, you don't need to. We are going to watch this reunion and break everything down. At the very least, we're going to follow this gossip because, again, shout out to the only show keeping the lights on at Bravo. I've been keeping quiet, but when I heard he took her home for a reunion, I had to speak out. You guys, I'll do. let me know if you want to hear some more videos about that or even if you want me to recap the reunion. Oh, it's going to be juicy. It's going to be juicy. My only hope to God is that Andy Cohen is not going to host it. But honestly, Andy can't even mess up this reunion. Actually, he could because he's, you know what? My, uh, oh, you know who should host this reunion? Lisa Vanderpump. Lisa M. Effing Vanderpump. Oh, my God. If Lisa Vanderpump hosted this reunion, even though I know it won't happen because probably Andy's face is probably sitting out. Man, no, they need to let Lisa Vanderpump come back and do a special fourth part of the reunion and sit them down and talk to them. Ooh, with Todd on the side. Give it, with Todd on the side, just give it. I'm sorry, Ken. Ken on the side, just giving his opinion. You guys, anyway, this is going to be so juicy. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will talk to you later. Bye.